it's very different talking to an 18 year old than talking to a 12, 13 year old that's, that's just starting high school. So have you got some sort of ideas and tips around sort of taking that first step? Because um, parents don't want to intrude on privacy either. No. So how, how do you, the balance between you knowing that your child's doing, spending more time online, but approaching them, um, if you could give a bit of, bit of insight into the best way to, to tackle this with kids. Yeah, definitely. And, and, you know, you're right because, you know, um, we know that kids of all ages are online and kids of all ages are at risk. So, you know, certainly being aware of your own child and what developmental level they're at, what sort of they can take is really important. Um, but, you know, just... <laughs> saying you know talking to a child and sort of you know or a young person or particularly teenagers because that can be harder a conversation to have because you know you, they do tend to shut down a little bit more um but you know just sort of saying look you know I've been reading or I've seen some stuff around you know risks online I said have you ever experienced anything like that you know so just sort of I guess sort of opening it up as sort of a general discussion rather than a discussion about the child themselves or the young person themselves um so that you know they may not feel then threatened or think oh God, they're going to, she wants to sort of take away everything or restrict my time on my computer or my phone. Um, so it's really important just to have those really broad discussions. Talk about your own stuff that you do online as well. And I think that's something we often forget that, you know, kids often model the way parents act online. So if you're sharing photos of your kids without asking them or sharing, you know, photos of them in their school uniforms, which is a huge risk, please don't do that. Um, but can you just, while you're talking about that, can you just talk yeah. a little bit about, because we all see the photos and we all, you know, everyone wants to show photos of their kids in their yeah. school uniforms. Can you just highlight the, the actual risk of, of doing that and, and showcasing a kid's school? Yeah, definitely. Look, one of the biggest issues there is obviously someone who may be a risk to your child see that sees that image, can easily identify the school that they're attending and can actually go along, you know, particularly if you name the child as well, can go along to the school, pick them up and go, hey, Melissa, you know, your mum sent me along to sort of come and pick you up. She's not feeling really well. You hop in the car with them, particularly young kids who who don't have that sort of sense of risk. Um, so look, it, you know, anything in a photo that identifies a child by their school, their address, you know, where they live, um, you know, their name, their full name, their age, all of that sort of stuff, we have to be really careful with. And, we're and seeing, I know we're seeing this happening. That's yes, that's happening yes. Well. Obviously. Most definitely. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it, it most definitely does happen. Um, you know, offenders are incredibly manipulative and incredibly cunning. Um, and, you know, it's it's just something that, you know, sadly we see happen. And, you know, we, we don't think of that as a parent because, you know, we often want to share photos of our children online. Um, and, you know, particularly because, you know, things like Facebook, and I'm probably old talking about Facebook, but, you know, people who, you know, go on Facebook, you know, often it's a way to connect with families, particularly during the times you know where you know grandma and grandpa might not be able to see the kids as often because they live in another state so you know sharing photos of you know big events etc um, or where a child is at a particular moment you know that can be a huge risk so we really need to be careful about what we share and the information that that may give away um, I also probably would say that you know even in just sharing images of your children I mean I think one of the things around that we talk about a lot now are things like consent and respectful relationships I think that you know parents often and I've done this I've shared photos of kids on my Facebook page without asking them but you know even just sort of saying to your kids look do you mind you know, I love this photo if you you know do you mind if I, we share that so that you know grandma or grandpa can see it or whatever so certainly that is really important and that can help set boundaries for kids in terms of what they share and the level of information that they share.